Hey guys, moved a little bit upstream and I hooked up into this nice size fish. It's a beautiful wild brown, guys. Calm in this hole right here. Ooh, this one's not that good. Uh, I need to get the pliers out for this one. Now the one problem with fishing about triple barbs is the rare occasion where all three get into the fish's mouth. The way to get the fish out of this, you just need to pull them out two sides at a time. So first you pop it up. There it is, boys. There's the wild brown. You gotta get it there slow. Get roll over it. Keep the thing in the water as much long time as I can. Up. Oh. You know what? Remember day? The fish swims. Oh shoot, that sucked in. How the hell does this fish get stuck physically in this hole? Alright guys, give me a second here. The fish got stuck inside the net. Alright, push him through this one. There it goes, boys. Whew, hook release. Hopefully catch another one here. Hey guys, I moved a couple of inches upstream. And I hooked up to another rainbow. <clears throat> Ooh, I love this. the brown trout, guys. All these fish are very nice looking. Beautiful colorations on them. Now, I don't want them to stay out of water too long. Infamous rule of wetting your hands before touching a fish. And then release. Nice fish, guys. It shows that even if the spinner doesn't work 100%, you can still catch fish with it. Catch you guys in a little bit. Hope you catch up. Hey, guys. I did a couple of random casts in this pool and I hooked up to. The biggest trout of the day, guys. Ugh. Nice size rainbow. Now the fish, pop purpose of the debarb, dehooked itself. Nice size rainbow, guys. Especially coming from this small stream. Caught it right in this ripple right here. I knew fishing after the rain would be the best call ever. It just shows you guys, just keep on getting out there. You never know what you can catch. I guess it's the shininess, the color of it, and the vibrations of the water just draws them and makes them attack it. Now I'm very shocked how I haven't caught anything yet in here. Maybe I spoke too soon, ooh there he is. And this is a nice size wild bow. Alright now. Like I said before, I've been having trouble with getting more than one treble hook stuck in its mouth. This is why it's always important to have pliers on you. Now I'm not talking about like industrial sized pliers. Just like fishing pliers. Meant to go in the fish's mouth a little. Pop it up. Beautiful little fish, guys. In time for the release. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I've been posting a lot of trout fishing videos recently, but this is only because trout fishing season is going to end soon. Once it gets to the later months of June when it gets too hot, I'll be switching over to bass or maybe some catfish. But as the opportunity strikes, I'll continue fishing for them. As you can see, great way to end the day was with the snag. <sighs> what a day.